Well, hello everybody. This is Albert from the Low Committed Podcast, and today I'm going to be doing a screencast in a completely unnatural accent. Today I'm going to be showing you how I curate my content and share my content with my networks using Google Reader, Buffer, and Twitter. Now you see, I'm heading to New York shortly, in a couple of days, and I'm not going to have time to be looking through my Google Reader feed and tweeting content. So I'm going to use the Buffer app, and you can see that app right at the top there, to collect my tweets, my content, and share it over a specific time for the next few days. And I wanted to take you along with it, because if I click Buffer right now, you'll see that I've got nothing in the Buffer. You see that? Nothing. So I've waited for this very special time to do this. Now I have to go to my Google Reader account. So let's do that right now. And I'll load it. Normally I do have a toolbar up here that has my links to certain tools that I use regularly. But I took that down because it's just too darn ugly. But anyway, let's get going here. I'm going to type in Google Reader. And because I'm logged in with my account, as you could see, my black and white head in the top right, you will see that I will go right into my Google Reader and begin my curation process. Now, normally when I go through this, I see what I'm in the mood for. Let's, let's look at some Mac news. Okay, here's my Mac stuff folder. Some of my favorite Mac sites are Mac Rumors. And let's quickly have a look here to see if there's something that my people, my followers would like to see and something that I'm interested in. <laughs> Normally, when there's a good headline, you could, you could see what's... Well, this is very interesting. I like photography. Just for the sake of example, a quick glance over the article. Now, I will start tweeting it. Now I'm going to go to my Buffer app. I click Buffer app. It's a little applet or a little addition you could get to Chrome. You just add it up there. And right here, I'm not really going to add anything. Sometimes I would say, you know, great news or something like that. And again, I don't really have a hard and fast rule of how, what I'm going to do for my format. You could kind of develop your own style. But what I do is I, um, again, I go in and out of accent randomly, so I hope it doesn't disturb you too much. But I'm going to add that to Buffer. And I want to take you through, I'm not going to be able to do a full session here because it, it could take up to about 20 minutes or so, so. But I want to do some different types of posting. I want to post to Facebook. I want to post to a couple of accounts at once. Now let's have another look here, and I will most likely speed up the video, the parts that are boring here, when I launch my screencasting. This was a good article from a couple of days ago. I'm a Siri user, so I definitely would like some improvements, especially here in Canada, because it doesn't work properly in Canada, so I'm definitely going to be posting this. I'm also going to add a little comment. I'm just going to leave it as that. You don't want to go under 20 characters here because people can't retweet it. All right, so there's that. I think that's going to be it for the Apple. What I'm going to do is... I'm most likely not going to come back to this, so I'm going to mark this as red. So you'll see over here now that there's no unread uh, feeds now in that feed, in that folder. SEO, I love to talk about SEO because it is constantly changing and, and companies could really, really benefit from that in the local environment. So let's have a, a look here. 11 techniques, I love it, I love it. So what I'm going to do is quickly look at this article and, okay, yes, this is an article that people need to know about. Some of it might be a little advanced for some people, but for others it might just be perfect. So let's tweet about that. 
Not going to change anything there. Perfect. Close that. Let's get back there. And one more article about. Hmm. I see. Oh, no, this looks kind of funny. This is an ads, so you want to sometimes, it will work if you tweet it from here, but you're going to want to go like this. Now I've got the flash blocker up here. And if I go like this, you'll see. Oh yes, this is a little bit of humor that's fantastic. We're going to definitely tweet about that. And you may have noticed, more importantly, my accent is continually changing between an Aussie Scottish, English, and some other unknown country. So forgive me for that. I just think having an accent is just, you're taking more seriously, you know. Okay, now let's get something to Facebook. I want to note something for you. You definitely don't want to do all of your tweets to your Facebook pages this way not tweets, your updates, because Facebook does have an algorithm and they know whether you are sending that information through a third party to your page <laughs> or you're sending it via a direct update right on Facebook's application, the web application. Because the more you send from third party applications, the less people are going to see those updates. So here, I'm going to show you two ways to do that. One of the most important, um, the best places I like to use uh, for my information going to Facebook, my personal page, is Lifehacker because they appeal to a very large range of people. And I think I've had some really great comments from my Facebook fans about some of the things that I've been sending here. So let's have a look here. Mm. This is an interesting one. Turn a watermelon into a cake. I really think people are going to love this. Now, here's the first way that you could tweet from here, or update, sorry, right to Facebook. You could click here, your buffer, or you could click down here. I'm going to use this. Now, I'm going to stop. I'm going to click this to not send it here. I'm going to click my Facebook page. Now, what it does is it goes and it grabs the article. Now, you could change the picture. Most likely, it's the first picture that's going to be good. It's grabbing everything from the site. I'm going to use this one. I get rid of this. And I'm going to do something like this. Oops. And it's going to go right to my Facebook page. And I'll show you in a second when it gets posted. That's the very first way to do it. Now, Buffer, of course, if you don't know, Buffer selects the best times where people are watching their feeds, the Twitter, Twitter updates, and it does it that way. Again, my accent is, is I'm leaving. <laughs> my accent is leaving me, you know, I mean, it's not dependable at all. I, I, I wouldn't bet my life on my accent, you know. Aha, I mean, look, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's amazing, you know, it's great. Auto sharing apps get a little less creepy. Um, now I'm not going to do that. All right, here's a great, great post that ah, it's not great. I, I made a mistake. It's nothing. I thought I don't want to know anything about jailbreaking an iPhone. I'm not interested. Neither are my people. If they are, then they can leave. Kidding. Okay. Now what else can we do? All right, improve your memory. I think this is a great post. By combining information with bizarre images, bizarre images. I think it's great. I, I've read some information on super learning in the past, taken some courses, listened to some tapes, attended some sweat lodges, and uh, I agree totally. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to directly, I'm going to make sure that my feed isn't in there. I'm going to select everything here. I, uh, I need to select everything. Copy. And let's load up my Facebook page, and I'm going to put it right on the Facebook page feed. This is the second way that you, you want to do it. Let's do that right now. I'm going to post that. 
I'm going to call this super learning. Now, here's the thing. It's going to post this right away. It's not going to do it down the road, but more people are going to see this than if I was to use a third-party tool. So let's do that here. Am I, am I in Australia now? I don't know. I, I... All right, there's the, there's the post. Now let's go back to the feed here, and I want to show you something about Buffer. So anyway, there's a, a little look at it. Here's my subscriptions. I've, I've gone to several websites, downloaded some, I think they're called XML files, where it automatically subscribes you to all of these feeds, and I've categorized them. I've manually gone out to feeds and put them in my, or to websites and put them in my feed as well. And here, here, here they are. This is the type of things I look at. Mobile marketing, very interested in that. Market leadership, some of the people I follow, Seth. And you got Chris Brogan here. I really think they're market leaders. Some of these are, haven't been fully developed yet. Local marketing stuff, I'm very, very interested for my clients. And again, you know, this is huge news this week. Google has completely retooled their local search results. Now let's go into the Buffer app and I'll show you a little bit around how Buffer works. I'm going to click my dashboard. Now here's are the accounts. I play, I have a paid account, $5 a month. And what I do is I, um, I have a couple of Facebook pages, some accounts, a couple of Twitter, four, four Twitter accounts and two Facebook pages that I'm looking. Right now, my personal tweet, I guess, schedule is as follows. Most of these are the ones I just showed you how to do. You see, 3.09 p.m., you're going to get this tweet, 5.06, 8.09, and 10.08. If I had more tweets, it would show the next day. As you see in my Facebook page that I updated, I've got nothing there. This is the one I wanted. And this one is being posted today at 5.05. Another thing you want to look at is your schedule. How do I get in there? Dum -dum settings, yes. Now here's my main Twitter schedule. Let's have a look here. I can change times, but these are the times that Buffer has sent to me to let me know what are the best times to be tweeting. And I want to do at least five for my personal account because I do retweet quite a bit. I want to get somewhere around 15 tweets a day, but on the weekends, I only got two. Quite interesting. So that's a little inside peek to Buffer as well. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this really, really poor demonstration of accents where I completely drift off course. But the main thing here is to show you inside of my Google Reader account how I use Buffer. And now what I'm going to do after this recording, I'm going to fill up my Buffer even more because it's very bloody hard to do it while you're recording. So folks, check out thelocalmethod.com if you're interested in marketing your business and becoming a market leader. Until next time, folks, it's Albert Athazi signing out.